Good day, everyone. For us as Christians, we are in the time between Ascension and Pentecost. Jesus is not physically present in our midst, but his spirit is all around us. And this is what we will celebrate this coming weekend as we celebrate Pentecost. In the Acts of the Apostles, Paul asks the disciples, have you received the Spirit? And they answered, we don't even know that the Spirit exists. Well, how about us as we approach Pentecost weekend? How aware are we of the Spirit in our lives? Do we believe in the power of the Spirit? As I reflect during this time between Ascension and Pentecost, I reflect on the many times in my life when the Spirit has been very powerful. During the times of loss and sickness, disappointment and failure, when things did not go the way I wanted them to go. Now the Spirit did not always act in the way I wanted the Spirit to act, but in reflection now I realize that I was always given the grace to deal with what life presented me with. And also have come to realize that the Spirit certainly knew a lot better than I knew what was best for me. In the Acts of the Apostles, when Paul asked the disciples if they received the Spirit, he asked that because he definitely, in a very, very powerful way, received the Spirit. If you remember, he was thrown off his horse and experienced an overwhelming conversion. In our lives, I believe that all of us at some point are thrown off our horses and that we have the option of seeing the Spirit somehow at work in these experiences. And from these experiences, we can either grow through them or we can allow them to embitter us. Each one of us has to make that decision. I believe that during this time, it helps to reflect back on all those times in our lives when we were thrown off our horse and how grace was available to us, how the Spirit enabled us to make it through what we didn't think we could make it through. And then I think we're called to stop and reflect on this present time and ask ourselves, how is the Spirit actually trying to throw us off our horse today? And do we trust that the Spirit will be with us during these difficult, challenging experiences and bring us through them as the Spirit has done in the past? Are we open to the Spirit gracing us with the courage that we need to deal with all that life throws at us in the present time. Jesus says to his apostles, I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble. But Jesus says to all of us, as he said to his disciples, take courage. We are not alone. The Spirit is always with us. Happy Pentecost to all of you.